What up, world? It's Festive Reverb back in the studio celebrating 20 years with Korg's Micro Korg. This is one of the most well known synthesizers, originally released in 2002 and has stayed in production for 20 years, possibly making it the longest running manufactured synth ever. Its defining features have set the standard for other compact synths that follow. There are many reasons why this synth is so popular, but we've narrowed it down to our top 20 reasons why this synth is still great 20 years later. Reason number one, it's battery powered. This battery powered synth can operate for hours on just six AA batteries, making it one of the best portable synths available today and helping to set a standard for the portable gear we know and love. Reason number two, it has great presets. Grouped by genre style instead of instrument type, the stock presets on this machine are great and easy to use. And over the years, lots of sound designers have released their own preset libraries. Someone was even rad enough to keep a well-updated Tumblr page called the Microcorg Patch Cookbook, where you can download lots of patch libraries and reference it for making your own patches. <laughs> Reason number three, it's a fuzz pedal. You can run your guitar through the microcord to create some fuzz and overdrive effects. Reason number four, it's basically completely customizable. The microcord is relatively simple to modify and rebuild if you're up for the challenge. It must be noted that modifying your gear is at your own risk, but if you do it, you might as well do it right. Reason number five, it's very easy to do DIY repairs. Whether or not you fully customize your microcord, you can easily make simple basic repairs on this compact synth. Reason number six, it's great for Blade Runner sounds. The classic Blade Runner soundtrack was composed by Vangelis or Vangelis, whatever you prefer, using a Yamaha CS80. But you could also use the microcord to emulate that classic sound. Reason number seven, it makes for a great talk box. The Microcorg's vocoder is very popular and for good reason. This synth actually comes with the microphone in the box that fully mounts onto this keyboard and it's really encouraging you to use this vocoder. Reason number eight, it makes classic 70s and 80s synth sounds. Because the microcorg is an analog modeling synth, it can recreate just about any patch made with the analog synth. Reason number nine, it makes some funky bass patches. The microcorg has two oscillators, a couple envelopes, and a multi-mode 24 dB resonant filter. This is essentially all you need to make some killer bass lines. Reason number 10, it also makes great ambient pads. Any synth that can make bass can also do pads and dreamy ambient sounds very, very well. Reason number 11, it's great for West Coast G-Funk leads. 
With the micro chord, you can make that classic West Coast hip hop lead that was made famous by Dr. Dre and DJ Quick. And those two producers were just sampling the late great Bernie Rowell from Parliament Funkadelic. So you can create all of those sounds with this micro chord. Reason number 12, it's a drum synth. The microchord can synthesize drum sounds and be used to process drum sounds from external sound sources. Reason 13, it has a great arpeggiator. Microchord's arpeggiator is very fun and intuitive. Not only are there the usual up and down appreciations, but there's a few alternate playback modes and even a random playback mode. Reason 14, it's great for 8-bit arcade game sounds. The design of the microcorg is very reminiscent of early video game systems, so naturally, the synth excels at making old school video game sounds. Reason 15, it has classic piano patches too. Sometimes you just need a classic piano sound to finish a song or help in the writing process. And Microcorg excels at synthesizing piano sounds. Reason 16, it has easy to use sync, ring mod, and LFOs. Reason 17, it's great for doing hybrid synth sounds. Using the external sound input and MIDI in, you can create a hybrid synth sound using the microcord in combination with other sound modules or other synths in your rig. Reason 18, it has sound editor software. If scrolling through this basic screen and switching knobs and menu diving isn't your preferred way to make patches, then you're in luck. There's a sound editor software available for the microcord that can be used on your computer to design patches and manage the patch library. Reason 19, there's newer additions to choose from. If you're still not sold on the original microcorg, then there have been a few additions to the line that serve as updated versions like the microcorg S, which is the microcorg with the speaker, the microcorg XL and XL Plus, which are two entirely different synths, but sort of follow the same compact playability of the original. And reason number 20, you can just use it to fool around. No matter what else you do with it, you can always just grab and go and create music really quickly. You can use one hand to play the keys and use another hand to tweak the knobs and change the presets. And when doing that, I actually think about the first viral video I saw with this microcord made by Dorian Concept when he was just doing all these crazy things that I just didn't even know was possible with this amazing little synth. So there you have it, 20 reasons why we think this synth is still great 20 years later. It's been around for 20 years, so obviously you all have some of your favorite things about the microcord. Definitely leave a comment below. Let us know what are some of your top 10, top 20 reasons why this synth is great. And if you want to order a microcord, we obviously have plenty of listings available from limited editions to custom colorways. We got it all at Reverb. Click the link below to read up more about this microcord. So that's all I got for y'all today. I'm Fest Grandios, signing off of Reverb. As always, stay safe and keep creating. Peace.